fact, we have achieved the peak gearing phase of the company and will now start with the transitory phase of deleveraging the balance sheet as the construction phase of the LCCP comes to an end and the commensurate cash flows starts to positively impacting the EBITDAs and ultimately flowing through to the balance sheet. This will, however, be a very gradual process. The capital expenditure forecast for the year is 38 billion rand, which very much aligned to the capital forecast that we previously presented to the market. And it really ensures that we still keep on spending the sufficient sustenance capital as well as spending the capital to complete the LCCP. In this context, I want to reiterate that we are staying very true to our capital allocation framework. We are allocating sufficient sustenance and environmental compliance capital to ensure long-term asset health. We have, however, prioritized our growth capital to ensure that we specifically allocate growth capital towards the LCCP's completion and the PSA gas development in Mozambique. Going forward, uh, we estimate and forecast our capital estimate for financial year 21 to be in the region of 30 billion rand. Discretionary growth capital specifically for financial year 21 will also be tapered down in our efforts to pursue the deleveraging of the balance sheet and to ensure that we manage and navigate peak gearing during this volatile period. We have to really manage this transitory phase quite carefully um, going forward and very much align with our capital allocation framework and principles. We did take the very tough but very necessary decision to cut and pass the interim dividend. Careful navigation of the balance sheet deleveraging will be required in the months to come as we've got limited headroom and we are dealing with a very volatile macroeconomic environment. Our objective for the long, uh, long term still remains to manage our gearing in a range of between 25 and 35 percent needed to equity and our needed to EBITDA to below 1.5 times. Over time, and we are very much committed to that as the balance sheets start to deleverage, to firstly start to increase our dividend payout ratio to a 45 percent payout ratio or 2.2 2 times cover. With all this being said, one of the key priorities for this company now is to protect our investment grade rating and all efforts will be directed towards that.